All right, guys. All I've got to say right now, WWE, thank you. I have not been happy about a Monday Night Raw. Let's be honest. It has been some of the boringest stuff you can remember the past couple of months. This really, really was good. So, what's up, guys? Um, of course, I didn't do the Battleground review. Like, out with me, I wanted to see what the brand split did. So, I didn't really care about what happened. And, so, we start the show off, and there's a new set. I like it. I mean... They brought the announcers to the front again, like they did in like two, early two thousands. This set's a little different. It's got like a this arch over it or whatever, and the ropes are red again. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm just glad they changed it up a little bit, you know. But um, we started the show with Mick Foley and Stephanie in the ring, and they're addressing the uh, roster. Well, we all thought. They were going to bring back the World Heavyweight Championship. I think a lot of us did. They brought in a new title. The Universal title. Um, that's a mouthful. I don't know if I would be able to say WWE Universal Champion every time. I don't know. Like. I think it's okay. I think. I hope the title. The design is cool. But. Um, well they set up two Fatal 4 ways. And boy were they good. It, the first one was. K.O., Rusev, Cesaro, and your boy, Finn Balor. And oh, was it good. Oh, was it so good. Dude, Finn Balor. Like, I didn't think, he, like, I wanted him to win. I like, yeah, he can win. Yeah, he can win. But I didn't think they were going to let him win. I thought it was going to be like Cesaro because the dude deserves it. <sighs> to start up the show with that fiddle for me was phenomenal. Let's, let's, like, dude. That, you know, the uh, Kevin Owens was telling Rusev, he was like, do that flip thing. And he ran out to the sin hunt. And here was Rusev, it's the flip thing. You know, they were, it was crazy. They were going everywhere. Finn Balor's uh, shotgun drop kicks to the corner was pretty cool. The Cesaro's, when he goes around, hits everybody with a European uppercut. And at one point, Kevin Owens had that match one. He hit the pop-up powerbomb, pinned Finn Balor. Here comes Rusev. Hits the frog splash. Here comes Cesaro. Then he hits another move. Here comes somebody else. Like, he had that match won a couple times. Like, it was just like, you know, yeah. And then here comes Finn Balor out of nowhere. Hits the coup de gras and wins. You know, I was like, okay. Out of the next ones, out of the next Fatal 4-Way, I'm like, you know, Roman's probably going to win. You know, it's, it's probably going to be Roman. Um, but the next match was... Nia Jax beating up some chick. Who knows who she was? Who knows? But, I mean, uh, I don't really like like Nia Jax. I don't know if I, I don't know if I get hate for that. Probably some people like Nia Jax, but I don't think she's that good. Um, we had another fatal, the other fatal four way, which was Roman, Sheamus, Sami Zayn, and Chris Jericho. Like, when Chris Jericho hit that uh, code breaker, at one point I thought he could actually win. I didn't want him to win, but at some point I thought he actually win. And do Roman Reigns, that... Uh, Irish curse thing that Sheamus does, or Razor Ramon's fin old finisher, where he takes him like this, then turns it into a powerbomb, is fucking awesome. Dude, that, I like that move. You know, Roman Reigns, everybody hates him. For what he did, you know, he got suspended on this policy, so people booed him a lot more. But you know, he was killing it tonight. Uh, the drive by would double, that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, when they were on the outside, it was kind of, I was like, if I was like not paying attention at one point, I was like, where are they at? Like, it was hard to really tell where each side of the ring was because there's no uh, announce tables there anymore. But you know, it was it was a solid matchup. Roman Reigns does win, so we get Finn Balor and Roman Reigns in the main event. Okay, here comes the new day with well, their actual cereal. I want to get it. It's probably like Lucky Charms. I'm just saying, with just New Day, but um, it brought out a fan, and his name was Sunny Boy. 
you know, it I Sunny Boy. I don't know if that's real or not. Like, let's be honest. You know, there's some times they place fans in the crowd. So I don't know if this was one of those times or was this actually a guy and he stuck with Sunny Boy the whole time. So then they started dancing. Sunny Boy started dancing as well. Got a little bit crazy right there, but here comes the club. It beat the shit out of everybody. They got their Sunny Boy, like blow snot all over uh, New Day clothes and throw it at Sunny Boy. But, uh, you know, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, I like. I'm ready for the club versus New Day. Hopefully the club wins because I'm ready to see a new tag champ. You know, but that was pretty funny. Pretty cool segment. Obviously, to be honest. Um. So. They talked about, they did a promo for the Cruiserweight Classic. I mean, the Cruiserweight Division on Raw. Uh, we got to see Neville. I don't know if he'll be in the Cruiserweight Division. He probably would be. I could see him being the champ. Um, but he faced Mr. Irrelevant, Curtis Axel. And actually kind of made a match out of this. Uh, Curtis Axel really didn't get much offense in. You know, he kind of got a couple things in. He hit a drop kick. He moved out of the way a couple times. Hit a couple reversals. But... Neville whooped his ass. Neville wins with a red arrow. And is Neville turning heel? Just kind of like the way he was walking around staring at him. Like, you know. He used to, he used to act like that. Now he's got like this beard and stuff. He looks a little bit crazy looking. You know, I don't know if he's going to be heel or not. But the dude can wrestle no matter what. So, I mean. Even if he's not that good on the mic as a heel. He's really going to. He's going to win in the ring no matter what. So. And I thought that was an okay matchup. Probably just a filler. But. Mainly, they could have given Neville somebody else like Jack Swagger or something to make the match a little bit, you know, just a tiny bit better than it was. Um, next, we had probably one of the best women's matches we've seen in the longest amount of time. Let's be honest, it it was good. Charlotte versus Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks won that championship. She poured at Eddie Guerrero early on where she threw the title at uh, Dana Brooke. And made it look like Danny Brook was about to hit her, so the ref, you know, told her to get out of here. And she, oh my god, she hit the bank statement so many times, like, like, oh, get it, get it, get it. Nah, she fucking got to the rope. And when Charlotte hit the natural selection, at one point I thought it was over. Like, but she barely got the rope. I'm like, let's go, Sasha, let's go. Then, she hits the, f Charlotte hits the figure eight. She rolls it over, and they roll out to the ring, and it was like, oh shit, what's gonna happen? Fucking Charlotte hits a moonsault off the top rope on the outside. I thought, let's go. You know, she killed it. Uh, the double knees from Sasha Banks is always awesome to see. Like, when I mean, she finally hit that bank statement and she had her hand up, I was like, oh my god, tap, tap. When she, she like, did this thing where she like hit her head a couple times. She's tapping, right? She's tapping. And then she finally puts her head on the, hand on the mat and taps. I'm like, okay, let's go. I was, I was pretty happy at that point. I was like, you know, that was one of the best women's matches we've seen in a long time. And I'm just saying, like, it, it was really, really good. It, it, I was impressed with it for once. Because I've been so bored with this Charlotte title run. It's been so boring to me. Um, and now that Sasha Banks is champion, you know, me, Nia Jax would probably be one of the contenders to throw in there. I hope they, you know, do something with her. She's decent, but I still, I just don't like Nia Jax. Uh, I'm ready for Asuka. And Bailey, is she still is she coming up or was that just a one off last night at Battleground? So, you know, who knows? And then we had Braun Strowman come out and this little guy he was like I think he he looked like he was like forty or something. And Braun Saxon was asking him what does he think about facing Braun Strowman? And the dude was like, I think I can upset him, you know. No, the fuck you can't. The dude was short as hell. It looked like it was his first match ever. And it looked like he was like 40-something. Braun Strowman, 7 foot tall, big as hell, comes in there and destroys him. You know, when they separated the uh, Wyatt family, I didn't know what they were going to do with him. I heard a lot of things like, oh, Vince likes him. You know, he's a big guy. He's... You know, they can push him, you know, make a good character out of him or whatever. To me, I see him as a great Cully type. 
He's going to have this dominant run, maybe get a championship, and then to, could just go to comedy or not be a damn thing because he can't wrestle anymore. But that's just my opinion. I don't know what you guys think uh, about that. But um, then we had Enzo and Cass come out and face the Shining Stars. They, well, do they, I mean, Enzo and Cass started talking about uh, raw eggs and shit. <laughs> Pretty funny. And are we really supposed to take the Shining Stars serious? They had this is their second raw match. They're not that impressive at all. You know, we've seen them before. They're the Matadores, and then they were Premium Epico before they were Los Matadores. And the match ends when here comes our truth playing Pokemon Go. Jesus, that game is popular as hell. I personally don't play it because, I mean, I don't, I don't like Pokemon anymore. Come on, guys. But, um, Enzo and Cass win. Now, you know, we go on to our main event, Finn Balor and Roman Reigns, which was pretty damn good. Bro, when you think about debuts, you put Finn Balor as the number one debut of all time. You know, Kevin Owens, he came out and beat John Cena out of the pay-per-view. This motherfucker just won in a battle, in a fatal four right and against Roman Reigns. Hell yeah, bro. Okay, when that match started and they went to the outside, Roman was about to hit the drive-by. He moved out of the way, came over the top rope with the stomp. I was like, hell yeah. Bro, I was like, let's go. They come back from the mm, break, and Roman Reigns is kind of, you know, in control. Hits that power bomb, drives over Superman punch, and it wasn't like he moved. But when, you know, the match heated up, the match heated up. Oh my gosh, the sling blade from when Roman Reigns tried to go for a uh, spear was epic. He then turns him around and hits it with the drop kick into the turnbuckles, comes up top rope, hits a coup de gras. I was like, let's go. One, two, three. I was like, oh my god. Well, let's talk about the near falls they had in this matchup. Bro, Roman Reigns was done. When Finn Balor rolled him up, that ref, I swear to god, counted to three. Like, I thought it was over. But it wasn't. And I thought, you know, Roman Reigns won at one point. I mean, but Finn Balor barely kicked out. But I could watch that match over and over and over again. That was great. That was truly great. Now at SummerSlam, along with Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, we get Finn Balor, Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. Who do you got? I got Finn Balor. Dream matchup. I got Finn Balor. Don't loop. After this showing, and I've seen what he can do down in NXT. If you've got W Network, you've seen it. Dude, it's a fucking beast. You know, and a lot of people have been talking about how he's been gonna been, you know, coming up for months now, and they've been wrong. And then now to get to see this, I think this was better than what all them people were fantasy booking. This was better. You know, Raw impressed the hell out of me tonight. And you know, SmackDown, Michael Cole's like, yeah, uh, Shane and Daniel Bryan try to top this. I don't think they can. I mean, I'm being totally honest with you. I don't think they can. You know, it'd be great to see if they can, and if they do, let's go, right? Um, but next week, Brock Lesnar returns to Monday Night Raw in Atlanta. Too bad I can't go. You know, I'm not far away from Atlanta, but, you know, stuff happens. But uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought of Raw. I, I'm shocked. I love it. You know, Raw has was boring for a couple months straight. They turned it around tonight and made me invested in what happens. Now, can they continue to do this every week? The answer is probably no, but you know what? They continue to have good shows. I mean, this was fant fantastic. You know, they just have to have good shows, and I'm alright. But, you know, actually like, subscribe, and comment this time. Let me know what you thought on the show. And uh, I am out. Thank you so much for watching. Who do you think is going to win the Universal Championship, Finn or Rollins?